and the way you know, and the way you know. The Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we possibly know the way? Jesus turned to him and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And Jesus didn't want you to be lost eternally. He saw the pain of this world, and he didn't sit there on his throne with the worship of angels, where all the angelic hosts worshipped him. They worshipped him upon his throne, but he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross, even death on a cross. He humbled himself. He, re he received the worship of angels from the day he made them to the day he became a man. The all angelic host worshipped him, but he humbled himself and he said these words, I am gentle and lowly in heart. My friends, Jesus Christ is gentle. He's the perfect one. He's who you're all searching for in your friends. You're searching for him in your family, in your spouse. You don't realize it, but you are all searching for Jesus Christ. You are all searching for him. You don't realize this, but you are searching for God. And you but we've been left wanting. We've been deceived. For the devil who deceives them, he deceives the entire world. The Bible says that the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. The entire world. But my friends, Jesus came to set the captives free. And you don't have to fear death. When you're laying in bed tonight, remind yourself of this truth, which we all know deep down, deep down. There is no such thing as an eternity of nothingness. When you die, it's not the end. Your, your existence doesn't terminate. You live on, for you have an eternal soul. You have an eternal soul that will dwell forever, either in the kingdom of God in paradise, in paradise, my friends, eternal bliss, eternal joy, eternal happiness. In either Greek or Latin, the devil's name is drugs. And the devil off offers you in this world a drug, saying, you don't have to go the way of the cross. You don't have to serve God to go to heaven. I'll give you heaven. Just shoot up a bit of heroin. Take some cocaine, and I'll give you heaven. For my friends, I know this from personal experience. There is nothing but depression and anger and loneliness and suicide in the devil's way. There is nothing there. It's all a false proof. But eternal paradise yeah. awaits those. Eternity, my friends. Eternity in bliss, in hope, in joy, where there is no sin. There's no hatred. We all see one another. And deep down within us, you may be from a city, you may be from the countryside, but when you see another human being, naturally, you want to talk with them. You want to commune with them. You want to have fellowship with them. And it's the same with God. When God looks upon you, he says, I want to have communion with you. I want to have fellowship with you. For deep down, we are all searching for love. But this love can only come from the Father of Lights. This true love that we are all searching for deep down comes from God. And God has shown us the way. God has shown us the way to his love, to his peace to his joy and it is through his son Jesus it's through the son of God who became a man the very, the very essence of God Amen. himself became a man and came into this world and told us and told us things that we'd never heard before no one else other than Jesus Christ made this claim I am Jesus was claiming to be very God himself he was claiming to be the God who created everyone He's the God who created everything, and he dwells in me. Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. That's it. He's either God or he's a liar. There's no half ground. He's not just a prophet. He's either the creator or he's a liar. There's no middle ground, my friends. He either is who he says he is, or he's a liar. There's no middle ground. But Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. There's nothing more gentle than the Lamb of God. But my friends, there's nothing more fearful than the wrath of the Lamb. For the days will come when men will hide under rocks and say, Hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand? My friend, this day is coming. But God, today is the day of mercy. Today is the day of grace. Today is the day of forgiveness. No matter what you've done, no matter how dark your past is, I don't know your blind spots, but I've got some, and God knows this, yet he still chooses, he still chooses to accept me. Why? Because I look to the cross. 
I look to the cross of Jesus as my only hope. I can never earn heaven. I can never earn acceptance in the sight of a holy God. But there is one thing. I can receive the gift of eternal life. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. It's a gift, my friends. We can all receive this gift. And a thousand years from now, and then a thousand years from then, and then a thousand years from then, and then another thousand years, we'll be worshipping God in heaven. We'll be in paradise, where Jesus has built a place of many mansions for those who overcome this life. We all know we have to overcome in this life. We have to overcome in order to enter the gates of paradise. We have to overcome. When a man died, a man died and he, Jesus showed him hell, and then he took him to heaven. This man said, why wasn't I born here? He'd been traveling all over the world. Why wasn't I born here? Why wasn't I born in paradise? But my friends, this life is a test. This is the I test. You know them, Whether we choose to love God or hate God, but God has created you all with a free will. We are made in the image of God, and we all have a free will, either to love God or to despise the Creator. But God doesn't want you to despise Him anymore. He doesn't want you to live in unbelief. He said, do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas, when he said, unless I see in his hands the nail marks and put my side, hand into his side, I will by no means believe. Eight days later, Jesus came and stood in the middle of the disciples and he said, peace be with you. Those are Jesus' words when he rose from the dead. Peace be with you. And they were terrified. And he turned to Thomas. He said, Thomas, put your hands here in my hands. Put your hand into my side. Right. See, that's it is me. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas, who doubted that Jesus was raised from the dead, looked at Jesus. He looked at the Lord Jesus and he said, My Lord and my God. That's as simple as it is to behold Jesus. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Blessed are the poor in heart, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek of the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are you when men hate you and revile you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely. For my sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Right, eh? My friends, there's a day coming when God's going to be handing out rewards. God's going to be rewarding those, us as creatures. He's going to be rewarding us for what we have done with the light God has given us. We dwell in a country where freedom of worship, we have the freedom to worship Jesus. But I have brothers and sisters in parts of this globe that would be in prison, that would be beheaded if they would mention the name of Jesus Christ. But you have this freedom. You have the freedom to either choose Jesus or hate Jesus. The choice is yours, my friends. The choice has always been yours, and it will always be yours. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him, and he with me. Jesus is at the door of every one of your hearts. He's never too far away from a prayer. He's never too far away from a plea. Oh Jesus, I don't, I don't understand everything and maybe, maybe this doesn't make sense to me but Lord Jesus, please help me. That's all it takes. If you are truly, if you truly, truly need help, all you have to say is Jesus, help. That's all it takes and he will save you in an instant. You will be saved. You will be perfect in his eyes and he will come and dwell in you. He will send his Holy Ghost the Spirit of God Himself to come and dwell in you, to give you peace, joy, happiness, long-suffering, love, kindness, meekness, the things which we all truly desire in ourselves and in others. We are desiring the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're all searching for God. You don't realize this. You don't realize this, my friends. And I'm not here to attack you. I'm here to love you and tell you that God cares about your soul. The world may not esteem you very highly. You may not be in the Hall of Fame, but my friends, God cares about you. You may not be rich, God loves you. You may not have many friends on this world, but God wants to be your friend. All it takes is a step of hope, humbling ourselves, 
humbling ourselves before our Creator and saying, Lord, please help me. That's all He wants from us, a cry of help. Please help. We all know there's pain in this world. We know that there's struggles in this world and it's painful. And I thought suicide was a way out. I thought at least my trials will be ended. At least all this rejection of me will, will, will have no more. Until I realized this, that I am not of the world. I am not of this world. Jesus said, if you were of the world, the world would live its own. Yet yeah, because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. And it's okay. It's okay if you want to hate me. That doesn't change anything. I'm still going to love you. I'm still going to tell you about Jesus. I'm still not going to be afraid of your threats. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of power, of love, and of self-control, and of sound mind. Jesus is Lord. So I'm still going to love you. And I'm going to tell you that you, you are made in the image of God. You are not just an animal. You are precious, my friends. We are all made in the image of God. We all bear the image of our Creator. I love you. I don't care if you hate me. I'm still going to love you. Because when does love give up? When does true love ever give up on someone? I'm going to love you all. And I'm going to take your hostility. And I'm going to respond by saying Jesus loves you. Just as much as he loves me. Just as much as he loves all of us. The love is of God. Jesus is the Lord. And he is the Lord of love. Jesus is, is the way, my friends. Jesus is the only way, my friends. There is no other way. But what a perfect way it is to behold God himself dying on a cross. And for him to say these words as they mocked him. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. So now I profess to you. I forgive you. You don't know what you're doing, my friends. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know our left hand from our right hand. We don't know why we do the things we do. Because we are spiritual beings, my friends. But deep down within the heart of every one of us, we want to love our neighbour. We want to care about the peer person next to us. It doesn't care whereabouts on the planet we're from. We are all equal in this world. We are all equal. It doesn't matter how many friends you have or you don't have. You are made in the image of God. And you bear potential. You, you could become the temple of the living God. How? Believing in Jesus. How do we get peace? Believe in Jesus. How do we get meaning in this life? How do we find hope? Believe in Jesus. He is the only way. But what a glorious way it is. I love you all. God bless you all. We, we 